Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Demi J. I decided to do a video today. You know, um, I'm here today and I'm thanking God for it. And I'm glad you can join me. If you're watching this video, I'm thanking God for you too because that means that you're alive, breathing, and well. And I'm so happy that you could be a part of this video, well, at least watching this video. But this video today is definitely gonna be about the locks. It's gonna be a very short video. I have not much to say, but I'm definitely excited about this length. Okay, can we get into it? Can we get into it? Let's get into these locks today. They are officially touching my uh, shoulder neck area. Well, I consider this my shoulder neck area. Officially, officially. Like when I'm at work and I'm like doing certain things and I'm like, well, what's that crawling on me? No, no girl, it's your lock. <laughs> it's your lock girl, it's your lock crawling on you when it feels like a spider. But they're officially down, okay? I'm gonna do a 360 here and turn around now. Let y'all see the locks, okay? This is my link check, okay? We're doing a link check today. Don't let me see how full it's gotten, how poofy it's gotten. And I'm just talking about how much I love these locks and how happy I am that I started this journey a year and four months ago. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am a year and four months in. I am officially locked. I've probably been officially locked for about a year now, maybe less than that. I talked to my new loctician. I asked her, I said, am I locked yet? She was like, oh yeah, you're locked. She was like, this is your texture. Your texture is not gonna change. This is it. This is it, honey. This is this is you. This is your unit. This is your crown. This is your, these are your locks. Nothing's gonna change unless you cut them or take, you know, or decide to do whatever with them. I feel like they're getting thicker the longer that they get. This feels very thick. As you know, some of my locks are bigger in the front, which, you know, which, you know, I've grown to accept that, you know, I've grown to accept the fact that my locks are gonna be thicker in the front. I'm okay with that. Cause I feel like my locks are just beautiful and they make me feel and look more beautiful and I'm glad I did this. So, you know, you guys definitely like, share, and comment on this video. Definitely show someone who's interested in getting locked. Someone maybe plus size and feel like their face is not pretty enough or, you know, they feel like they're not cute enough to get locks. But listen, you can't tell me nothing. As big as I am, I'm not conceited, but you can't tell me, you can't tell me that I don't look good with these locks, baby. You cannot tell me. You can't tell me nothing. I know I'm cute. I know I'm pretty. And 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 I'm happy that I did this because if I would have did this maybe 10, 15 years ago when I didn't have much confidence, I probably would have gave up a long time ago. When I do retwist my own locks, yes, I've learned how to retwist my own locks because I feel like that's something you should need to know. Because what if you move? What if you haven't found a new loctician yet? What if you go to another area and you're looking for a loctician and you don't want to be, you know, letting it tangle and, and, and your parts get all intertwined and you don't want that. So I do retwist my own locks if I need to. I've been using natural stuff like my uh, my own flaxseed gel mixture. I've been definitely doing that. I also use the Bronner Brothers Pure Castile Soap. I use this when I wash my locks. Also, when I'm done with that and it's dry and everything like that, when I moisturize, I use the coconut oil, 100% pure co coconut oil on my locks. So that is about it. That's what I do. I don't use anything I'm not supposed to use on my hair. I don't put that Jamaican and lime. I don't put anything really super processed on my hair. Um, I, I'm damn near about to use nuts and berries if I need to, but you know, I, I just try to use the bare minimum because I feel like it causes less buildup and it keeps your locks softer. I say the less you use in your hair, if you keep it, you know, oiled, up, few few days out of the week the less you use the better your locks are off like because you got people doing videos where they're putting all kinds of crap in their locks no 
stick with the natural stuff because a lot of this stuff has a lot of chemicals that's not good for your hair. So I'm all about using more natural stuff versus the, the packaged bottled stuff, like, you know. So I definitely will use an olive oil. I'll use a Jamaican castor oil. I'll use coconut oil. I am all about the oils and, and keeping your hair oiled a couple times a week. Don't overdo it because you will cause buildup. Yes, this video is not that long. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi and yeah, go and just check in. Check in with my lock family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. So like, comment, subscribe, share, um, tag your pages if you have a lock page where I could follow you and follow your journey. And maybe we can, you know, converse about the different styles and what we like about our locks and stuff like that. I want to open a dialogue because I feel like you guys are family and yeah, we're in this together. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love, peace, and chicken grease. And be blessed, everyone. And you guys have a wonderful night, day, whatever whatever time you're watching this video. You enjoy your day, you guys. All right.